In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a glass morphism effect in After Effects without using any plugins. Let's create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, click OK. I'm going to use the background image I got from Unsplash.com, you can use your own image, drag it to the timeline, make sure you're not selecting it, and then select the shape tool, more specifically the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle like that. Let's align the shape in the center by using the Align tab. I'm going to rename the shape layer to Glass to stay organized, you don't have to do that. And open rectangle one, open up rectangle path one, and set roundness to 25% to get the rounded corners. And now we need to convert our shape layer into the adjustment layer by checking this box. If you don't see this column, click on the toggle switch mode until you do, and check this box to make our shape layer an adjustment layer. Then go to effects and presets and search for fast box below. Add this to the glass shape layer, or now the adjustment layer. Set below radius to 20 and iterations to 20 as well. They'll make it really blurry inside of our just play. Now let's select the glass layer, go to edit, duplicate or press ctrl D as a shortcut. Let's rename this to highlight. Let's convert it back to the shape layer by unchecking the adjustment layer box and also remove the fast box blur from it. Make sure the color is set to pure white. Then press T on your keyboard to bring opacity and set opacity to 10%. That'll give a nice highlight on your glass layer. Now let's select the highlight layer, go to edit, duplicate and rename this to stroke Let's open up its properties, go to content, rectangle one, and let's hide fill and bring back stroke. Then open up its properties, set stroke width to six, and then select the stroke layer, press T for opacity, and set opacity to 20%. That will give the glass a nice and soft stroke on the edges. Let's now create some text by selecting the type tool, and I'm using integral CF bold font for this. You can use your own font, and let's type something like how to create glass morphism. I'm going to quickly adjust the line spacing so it looks better than this. And let's also set the paragraph to left aligned. Then select the selection tool and move your text and place it wherever you want to. I like it the way it is, so I'm going to leave it there. Let's add a drop shadow by searching it in effects and presets. Add drop shadow to the text layer. Then in effect controls, I'm going to set distance to zero, softness to 40, and our text is all nice and readable. Now in order to move all the layers together or even create multiple copies of it, let's select all the layers here except the background, right click on any of them and select pre-compose, let's call this glass and let's click OK. So now the effect is kind of gone, that's why we need to check this continuously rasterized box, that'll bring back the glass effect. And now we can freely move around all the layers together without having to move them separately. And now you can easily animate this by animating the position. Let's select the glass layer, press P for position. And at the beginning of the composition, I'm going to create a keyframe for position and move this outside of the screen so we don't see it. And then move to two seconds and drag into the middle of the screen. And that'll create a very simple animation, but you get the point. You can get creative with this and create, you know, different kinds of animations. You can even create multiple copies of the layer if you want to have like multiple glass layers floating around in your composition but yeah i'll stick to one for this tutorial and that brings us to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and learned something new if you do give this video a like i'd really appreciate that thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out